Welcome back to this World of Warcraft Let's Play, you're Sambo and joining us as always is Seraphis, our level 39 Worgen Mage. Say good day, Seraphis. The beast in me hungers. The beast in you hungers. It's ironic that the beast in you hungers. The beast in me hungers. And in fact, the beast right about now is hungering for a lot of people. Why is that? Well, there's one very special reason why, and that's why we're here. It's this. If we have a look in our WoW calendar, you can see that we're currently in the middle of a WoW event. And that, of course, is the Pilgrim's Bounty. And Pilgrim's Bounty, what's all that about? Well, basically, it's a uh, mock if you like, fictional version of the celebration of Thanksgiving in the US. And of course, if you're in the US and you're watching this, it's probably a little bit past Thanksgiving Day now by the time this episode goes up. But hey, happy Thanksgiving Day to you all are the same. And of course, we don't celebrate that uh, here in Australia, but we do in the world of Warcraft. And of course, it's called Pilgrim's Bounty. And you can see it's basically been running since the 20th of November and it finishes a week later. You can see here if I hover over it, it says that the Pilgrim's Bounty ends at 7 o'clock Saturday, November the 26th. So what I thought we'd do, of course, is dedicate this episode to taking a look exactly at the Pilgrim's Bounty, how you uh, accept the quests for it, what the first quests are, what there is to do, where you have to go, etc, etc, from the Alliance perspective. But before we do that very quickly, I know we've got to check our mail of course the other day we were here and we were putting some things up on the auction house and look at this you can see we've got a bunch of successful auctions there thank goodness you can hover over them of course and have a look at the gold amounts there we go and just reminding you too that if you wish you can just shift click on them and that will dump the money straight into your bags without having to actually open the mail like this and then click on the money. So I'm just holding down shift here. You can see, look at this, gold everywhere. 25 gold there for some medium leather. Gosh, we love the AH. It's just fantastic, isn't it? There we go. It's a lot quicker. And we've got a number of pages of them here. We've got another successful one there, one gold 30. And you can see we've got some that have expired as well. Now, part of our trip today and exploring some of the Pilgrim's Bounty content, we'll be going to Stormwind. What we'll do actually is we'll pop these up on the Stormwind uh, auction house as well, just for something a little bit different. So we'll leave them in our mailbag for now. But you can see that takes our... I don't know if we, Get out of the way, it takes our gold down here to 1,186 gold pieces. We're doing so well again, all pretty much from the AH. So don't be not using it because that's going to be your main source of income. Now, another small apology too, uh, as you'll probably know if you're watching some of my other series, I'm ravaged with hay fever at the moment, good old Melbourne, and it's high pollen count, so if it sounds like I've got a peg on my nose, or I sound like a snuffly worgen, I'm not role-playing, that's because I actually am, so my apologies up front if I sound a little bit weird, that's why and hopefully it'll go very, very quickly. Okay, so let's get right into it, folks, Pilgrim's Bounty it is, uh, or Thanksgiving, depending on where you'd like to uh, treat it, but of course it's called or Pilgrim's Bounty in WoW. The first thing you need to do, like with any world event, is get yourself to a major city, and of course, just so happens that we're in Darnassus at the moment, and you get yourself to a commoner. Now, in Darnassus, of course, it's going to be a night elf commoner, like you can see here, and they're going to be standing around uh, in very obvious places, in this case, of course, outside the bank in the mailbox. If you're in Ironforge, there'll be some dwarven commoners. If you're in uh, Stormwind, now let's tell you what I'm talking about here. So if we go to some major capitals, if we go to Dunmoreau, then you'll know that Ironforge is the Dwarven capital. There will be some Dwarven commoners probably hanging around here in the commons, that's where they'll be. And if you're in uh, Elwyn Forest in Stormwind, they're probably going to be in the trade district around here near the bank, somewhere around there. And of course there's lots of other places you could be if you're on the Alliance, for example, uh, if we pop over, where am I looking for? Over here, here we go. Going to the Exodar, there's probably going to be some commoners around in the seat of the Naru as well. Anyhow, wherever you are, whatever race you are, it doesn't matter where you go. Of course, we're Worgen and we're talking to Night Elf commoners, it doesn't matter. What you need to do is pick up their quest here. 
And you can see here such a stark contrast, this holiday, to typical human behaviour. Who'd have thought such a relatively voracious people would make a celebration of giving and sharing? It's pleasant uh, to see, and Darnassus should do its utmost to support and encourage it. And you can see there, Pilgrim's Bounty. This is the very first step that you should make if you're wanting to start doing the Pilgrim's Bounty content. So here we go, uh, won't you celebrate Pilgrim's Bounty with us Seraphis, it's time for reflecting on journeys, on your journeys and your good fortune, sharing plentiful food and stories with friends. You can partake of wonderful Pilgrim's Bounty's feasts near major towns by sitting at a bountiful table and serving the foods you find there. So you can see it's very much centred around uh, food this one which is great. Well, it's not great if you're playing uh, WoW and you're hungry, let me tell you that. Anyway, uh, if you're interested in learning how to cook the traditional Pilgrim's Bounty foods, seek out Gregory Tabor. You'll find him just outside Stormwind's gates. So there you go. That's our first task, folks. Speak with Gregory Tabor just outside the city gates of Stormwind. We will take that. So this is a big, big thing for us because, of course, the only capital city we've ever been to is, well, it's pretty much right here in Darnassus. That's it. Okay, right over up the top here of Teldrassil in Kalimdor. Where we're going to be traveling now is Stormwind. So we have to take a boat uh, all the way over to the Eastern Kingdom's continent over here. So it's a big trip for us and brand new territory. Very exciting. Where we're going is Elwyn Forest, this zone here, which of course is the starting area if you play a human. And it's taking, as you can see right there, out the front gates of Stormwind. So we're going to have to take a boat into Stormwind City itself. Uh, so for those of you who have never seen the new Stormwind City post-cataclysm, this is going to be a big treat for you. Of course, we're not able to fly because we're not quite old enough to fly. Uh, so you won't be able to have a look above it. And don't forget, folks, that uh, if you haven't played in Cataclysm, you can now fly over Stormwind City. That's right. In fact, you can fly in all of the old zones, including Elwyn Forest and everywhere around here. It's very cool. Uh, however, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be pulling into a ship here in the Stormwind Harbour and then making our way through and out to the front through the Valley of Heroes and out the very front in Elwyn Forest. So very exciting stuff. All it means is that we need to get ourselves to the docks. So that means mounting up. And if you're in Darnassus, of course, that also means uh, hopping out the portal out the front here and getting yourself down to Ruttherin. And that, of course, is where the ship to Stormwind sets sail from. So very exciting stuff here. Looking forward to this. This is a very big trip for... Oh, and look, there's the boat there. <laughs> I hate when that happens because we may not make it in time. It'll probably just take off just as we get to the end of the wharf. But anyway... Uh, it's a classic example showing you exactly which wharf to take. There's a few of them and it's directly in front and oh! Can you believe it? My luck folks! Say goodbye to the Stormwind boat. <laughs> oh dear oh dear, what do you have to say about that? Yeah, I thought as much. Story of our life, isn't it? Waiting at the end of a dock. Sitting at the... No, I won't sing that. Now over there, uh, by the way, there's... Oh, there it is. That over there while we're waiting. That is another dock. I'll just have a wee look-see. There we go. Over there, that is the uh, the ship's dock for the Exodar. So that'll take you over. We have a look on the old map. If we zoom out. That's the ship that'll take you over here to Azimist Isle and to Bloodmist Blood Isle. Now those, of course, being the starting areas for the Drenai. And in fact, if you're a Drenai, you start here, but that's where the Exodar is. So it's just off the shore of Teldrassil, which is where we are now, and you can see it taking off there. That will end up over on uh, Azimist, or rather Bloodmist Isle. And if you're looking to get to the Drenai capital, that's one way of getting, excuse me, getting there. And in fact, if you're in Stormwind and you're trying to get to the Drenai capital, uh, you have to come here first and then catch a boat from that dock there. Just so you know, that would be your connecting flight, so to speak. All right, so I'm honestly not sure how long the boat takes to come in these days. Generally what I'd be doing is, if I was here on my own, is making use of my available time and doing this. That's right, doing a spot of fishing off the end of the wharf. Because hey, we're standing here, we've got nothing else to do, why not? Now I won't put you guys through that, so what we'll probably do, uh, and well we'll just have a quick couple of casts in case the boat comes. And of course it's great for leveling up your fishing wherever you can have a bit of a fish 
And by the way, speaking of leveling up, uh, the Pilgrim's Bounty is a great opportunity to actually level all of your characters' uh, cooking. And a lot of people, including myself, kind of wait till this comes around every year and don't bother too much with cooking in order to do a massive cooking session. And we'll have a look at our cooking in a second. Let's have another cast here. There go. Hey, Mercablo, how are you? So you can see here, our cooking is 45 out of 75. Oh, look at that. Here's the boat. Uh, we are going to get that up really really high and by that I mean we're never going to have another opportunity until the next Pilgrim's Bounty comes around which of course won't be till next year next November um, now is the time if you're really wanting to raise your cooking skill do the Pilgrim's Bounty quest just trust me on that one Right, look at this, we've got ourselves a visitor all the way from Stormwind, a level 43 Drenai Shammy. Hello, hello. And here we are, getting ourselves on the boat to Stormwind. And if you've never been on a boat before, it's kind of cool to have a bit of a wander around. You can talk to all of the crew, and of course you can get up here. It's got its own music, you can hear that. Get up here and do some silly emotes. Chugga, 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 choo, choo. I don't know why it's a bit of a tradition for me whenever I get behind a ship's wheel to do the slash train emote. Don't ask me why. And of course you can be king of the world up the top here as well if you can time it straight. Time it straight, time it right rather. Here we go. Whoa! And that was bad. That was bad because now I'm stuck out the front here. Although it's kind of a cool place to be. I think I can't get back up now. Let's have a look. Oh, oh, you can. Phew. Okay, there you go. Uh, of course, we can go in and explore the quarters as well. And what you'll find generally is that there's some repair vendors, etc. Here we go. You can see this guy here will actually... Oh, we do need repairs. And generally has your sort of trade merchant type stuff. So dies there and all the rest of it. Oh, you can see the bo boat rocking. We are taking off. Say goodbye to Darnassus and Teldrassil. May the great wolf spirit guide you. That is it. We are now sailing out on the open seas. And goodbye to Darnassus. This is big for us. Now, of course, you can go down the back here and have a look at the captain's quarters. Oops. And, yeah, you get this loading screen. And, of course, you can see that we're traversing across the great maelstrom there and over to the eastern kingdoms. And we'll go back topside uh, so we can see the view as we come into port in Stormwind, the human alliance capital. Big stuff here. Big trip for Seraphis. Oh, I don't know why it did that. That was a bit weird. All right, let's go back topside. And, oh, okay, for some reason we didn't get to come in. It just took us straight there. I don't know why it did that. Normally you actually zone in out there on the ocean and you get a bit of a view. But you can see there, because that loading screen sort of, I don't know what happened there, it did it twice. Something glitched, maybe it's because we haven't been here before, and something had to load. And you'll see, by the way, a lot more activity over here in Stormwind, because it's just a much more popular capital than Darnassus. So seeing all these people is not unusual. Of course, you can see someone on their Winged Guardian flying in there. And that is because, of course, the Winged Guardian is a flying mount once we get our flying skill. And we'll be able to fly around here as well. Let's just get rid of Macablo. See you later, Macablo. Just because her uh, its name tag gets in the way. Anyway, here we are. This is it. We are now in Stormwind. Great job. That's right. Great job getting here. And of course, that boat will take off again very shortly. You can see full of players there who are heading to Darnassus. So you can see it's night time here. Once again, I'm playing. It's about quarter past midnight because uh, the Australian server is synced to my local time. So it's night time here in Stormwind. And this, folks, is what the Stormwind Harbour looks like. So you can see here we are. And you can see there's four wharves. Uh, not all of them are active, by the way. This one here takes us to, like I said, uh, Darnassus. We know that because that's where we come from. The one on the end actually takes us over to Northrend. So let's go down and have a look at that seeing as we're here. And you can see the Northrend ships there. They're a completely different ship model to everything else that's in the game. The traditional ship models in the game look like that. And of course, all the ships in the old world look like that. But anything taking you to new content, especially uh, Northrend, will look like this one. So this harbour area is huge in itself. 
uh, but basically up that wharf there that's where the north rand ship comes in and you can see we've got some trolls there some dark spear warriors by the way that's a special quest don't need to worry about that you can see we've got griffins flying around but that there <coughs> is what a north rand ship looks like so it's a lot bigger than the traditional ships and a lot more crew as well and if we got on one over there at the end of that wharf over there that would actually take us through to Northrend what's Northrend I hear you say that of course is all of the content that came with Wrath of the Lich King and that's a fantastic zone there it is uh, that's where we fight the Lich King of course and if you're traveling over there you'll end up in the Borean Tundra that's where that ship will end up down here in Valiant's Keep just in case you're playing on a high level character and you didn't know how to get there all right so there we go this is the back end of Stormwind City and you can just see the tip of the cathedral over there it's an absolutely huge and sprawling city much bigger than Darnassus and of course much more complicated to get around as well Here we can see some steam tanks lots of dock workers down here <clears throat> and while it's nice to to uh, have a look at that we're not interested in any of that we're interested in getting up the top and getting into the main trade district area and out the front through the Valley of Heroes and then out to our quest. So here we go, discovered Stormwind City. So we're gonna get up, we can have a look back over the harbour once we get up the top here. It's a very nice view that's afforded and you can see we're starting to get into Stormwind City proper now. If we have a look over the harbour, we'll pop down here, it's a bit better to see everything from. There we go, so there's the Darnassus boat coming in again. Like I say, normally you're on that and you actually get a nice view of the city as you sail in. Not sure what happened to us. You can see there that the North Rand ship has actually pulled in at the dock there too. And got a lighthouse out the back there. And this, like I said, is the back end of Stormwind. Now this has changed in itself. Again, if you haven't played since Cataclysm, you can see all of this area over here is brand new. All the parks area over here. And we've got ourselves an altar over here as well, which is full of portals. All of this is new. And right beside us, you'll see as we... I don't know if we can see from around here. No, we have to go in. There's been a bunch of devastation happen uh, with Deathwing, and we'll have a look at that in just a second. But yes, that is new through there. We'll explore this later uh, after we've done our Pilgrim's Bounty quest. But through there is a whole new area, and it's going to be a big surprise to you if you haven't uh, been to Stormwind since the Cataclysm, since Deathwing has been here. Things have changed up big time. And there's no easier way of proving that than right here. Look at this, folks. You may remember riding down these streets, well take a look now. Where there was once a hustling bustling hive of activity with shops in the park, the mage area etc etc, there is now nothing but these ruins. Look at this, a massive chunk has been taken out of the city pretty much. You can see here if we have a bit of an explore around this will give you a good idea. That's the mage quarter over there. And you can see there it is, that's what we're looking at. But this whole area here where there used to be the park, yeah, it's not there anymore. It is just an absolute devastation of a mess. And you can see that's basically the back end of the stockades. That's the mage quarter. And the rest, as they say, is history. Rubble, smoke, flames even down there. That is Deathwing for you. So yeah, it's changed just a little bit. Anyhow, like I said, we'll explore all of this in later episodes. For now, what we want to do is get ourselves into the city proper. And by the way, of course, anywhere around in the city, you're going to find a whole bunch of shops. Just hover over the signs hanging up the top there, and you'll be able to figure out exactly what their purpose is. But here we are in the familiar territory to those of you Alliance players, of course, of Stormwind, the canals. There it is, we've got the fishing trainer, fishing daily quests over there, and of course the cathedral and Stormwind Keep itself with our king over in the background there. All of these models have changed in the game because of course you can fly over all of this now. Absolutely amazing uh, view by the way if you get up atop. 
of Stormwind City and have a good look from above. It really does look amazing. But uh, like I said, we'll concern ourselves with all of that and having a bit of a explore around this new city. You can see a player flying in there. Uh, later on, right now, we're concentrating on our tummy on the Pilgrim's Bounty. And here we go in the Trade District. Now, the first thing you may notice if you're used to the auction house being down here, by the way, and you can see there's a lot more players here than there are in Darnassus, by the way, is here. Look at this. The door is shut. There is no auction house there anymore. And that's because it has changed and it is now over here. This is now the AH. That's right. It's changed up big time. So this here used to be the auction house. Of course, it was round the other way. Uh, now it faces the bank and the bank has changed as well. And by the way, when I say there's a lot more players here than there are in Darnassus, I think you can tell that just from looking here. This is uh, off peak as well, by the way, in terms of playing on where we are, which is Kazgaroth. And you can imagine what it's like at peak time. So even though we don't see that many players through our normal journeys in Darnassus, you can see here that there are tons in Stormwind. So the game is certainly not dead, as some people like to think. Yeah, just give you a quick tour. Up here is the bank. The bank has changed its layout as well. If you haven't been here for a while, there we go. You can see the three bankers. And of course, 10 internet points to anyone who can figure this out. We've got Olivia. We've got Newton. You can see through there. And we've got John. Who can figure out what that's a pop culture reference to, eh? Uh, through here in the main safe area is the guild bank as well. You can see your guild vaults and another banker there as well. So if we click on her, we'll see our normal bank come up. There it is, just the same as it has been in Darnassus, by the way. Nothing special about that. Have a good one. Except the fact that we're dealing with humans now and not night elves. And here we are, the world famous Stormwind Fountain. That hasn't changed, that is still here. Exactly the same place and of course people still dancing on the fountain left, right and centre. What we'll do quickly is we'll just pop up here and put our stuff on the AH. So actually we need to go grab it out of the mailbox. Let's do that. There we go, so let's grab our expired items here. Again, just shift clicking on them to make it quicker. And there we go, they've all dumped into our bags. Can we blink? Why yes we can. And Auctioneer Chilton, hello, I haven't seen you for a while. All right, so good old Auctioneer, of course, just hit refresh. Let's have a look at the market price. See if there's any of these. No, there's not, so we'll just vendor, uh, vendor mark up that one and post it. Now, we don't want to sell our celebration package, of course, from our seventh year anniversary. And that, of course, is the 7% reputation gain and XP gain. Let's refresh those and you can see that's automatically populated the price. Thank you very much. Healing potion, we don't want to get rid of that. Heavy leather we do though. That's going to um, fetch us at this stage about 67 gold. So we'll post that up. We've got some mage weave cloth there. Pop that up as well. Big scan because there's normally a lot of cloth on the AH of course. Some medium leather. Refresh that. And post that up as well. Raptor flesh. Yes, we'll put that up. Scan, scan, scan. Silk cloth we want ourselves. Strangle kelp, of course, we can pop that up as well. That's used in alchemy for those alchemists out there. They're always after that. And the same with uh, swift thistle. That's used for alchemy and cooking, in fact. So we'll pop that up there. And wool cloth. Everyone wants cloth all the time. That'll sell very well on the auction house. There we go, all done. Now, of course, it doesn't matter whether we collect that from Darnassus or Ironforge or here in Stormwind. It really doesn't matter. The auction houses are all linked, of course, all Alliance AHs. Now, you can see because of our level, we've got quests that are appearing here in Stormwind City. And that's, of course, closer. for people who are questing in this zone. If we have a look at the Heroes Call board here, you can see we've got the Eastern Plaguelands uh, that we'd be being sent to if we were here in Stormwind. Now, that may be a big surprise to a lot of you, too, who are used to the Plaguelands as being kind of early level 60, late level 50 areas. And how come we're being sent there already? Well, that's because, yep, the Eastern Plaguelands has changed a whole lot and it is now a lower level zone. And in fact, if I just accept this quest temporarily here and we have a look in our log, you can see here, where is the Eastern Plaguelands? That's it, look at it. It says it right there, level 40. It is now a level 40 zone. 
Can you believe that, folks? Instead of being like a 55 level zone, it is now level 40. So, yep, that's a big change up. And of course, if you don't have no idea where I'm talking about, that's up here. We've got the Western Plague Lands and the Eastern Plague Lands. That is now all low level. And look at that. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, six flight points in the zone. And you can see it's taking us right there to the edge of that river. And of course, the Western Plague Lands has changed big time as well. Uh, we'll be covering off that content later on but here we are at the moment in Stormwind City huge big city and you can see also the devastation that Deathwing has caused up the top here once we get out the front gates if we mount up oh no by the way that's the uh yeah the visitor center that's where all your guild stuff is and of course that's what a guild mount looks like very cool hello all these little humans running around very cool. Gosh, it's lovely to be here. The Valley of Heroes. Oh, and of course, let's check to see if we've got the head of Neff up here. No, okay. Basically, there's a massive dungeon raid. Uh, well, it's a raid, I guess, with a dragon. And that's Nefarian. And if you kill that dragon, everybody knows about it. And the head of it is strung up here under this arch in the Valley of Heroes. Very, very cool. You can see Deathwing has taken his toll here as well. If you haven't been here for a while, for a start, look up there. That's right, we've those three imprints are Deathwing's claws. He was standing on the keep there, up the top. That's how big he is. And he completely ruined Stormwind. And he also knocked over one of these amazing statues here in the Valley of Heroes. That's it, all that's left are its feet. And you can see down here that the dwarves and the humans are trying to fix it up and uh, yeah, basically pull it back up. I think it fell into the water. And of course, by the way, if you're trying to remember where on earth the flight point is for Stormwind City, it's up over there. We'll go check that out later as well. If you're a shaman, you'll notice that your shaman trainer, by the way, has moved. Because again, the layout has changed in Stormwind City. It used to be sitting over there. They're no longer there. You don't have to wander all the way out the front anymore to do your training. They're actually in the city proper now, uh, which is very cool. Anyhow, let's head out into the iconic zone, the very first zone, if you're a human, and that of course is Elwyn Forest, and this is where a lot of players will duel out the front of the gates here, because of course you're allowed to duel, and you can see these two here are practicing their combat, much the same as people do outside the front of Orgrimmar, and listen to that, that is the iconic, yes, it's the Elwyn Forest music. I absolutely adore this music because of course this zone was basically the very first zone I ever ever leveled in in the entire game playing as a human alliance you start up here and you work your way through the entire uh, Elwyn forest and that music is playing the whole time it's just relaxing peaceful and brings back so many memories it's so awesome oh my lord almost makes me want to roll a human again and of course uh, by basically if you been playing well since vanilla all of this will pretty much look the same the quests are a lot different now uh, of course because it's all been retuned but the layout of elwyn forest is the same and as a special treat uh, we'll probably get to have to go and check out good old goldshire up the road which is here and you can see another big surprise goldshire actually has a flight point now i know right uh, if you haven't played for a while that would be a big surprise to you we'll definitely pop over there and have a look but for now we're concerned with what's out the front here and of course this is all the goings-ons for the pilgrim's bounty you can see we've got all sorts of dailies here we've got cooking tables here that's a cooking fire for the actual festival the pilgrim's bounty uh, cooking fire there and of course we've got these bountiful table hostesses we've got these tables of food which we can sit at and you may be confused if you've never done this before what on earth is going on here look at this we've got the cranberry chair the sweet potato chair the stuffing chair the pie chair and the turkey chair and look at it the steam coming off that turkey there tell me it doesn't make you hungry it makes me absolutely starving uh, and of course we've got our quest to hand in here as well so uh oh yes the bountiful barrel pilgrim's bounty supplies that will be um yeah if you've ever done a bounty before a pilgrim's bounty quest you'll know what that's all about as well but we'll get into that very shortly first things first we need to hand into gregory tabor so let's have a look at this if you'd like to learn to cook Pilgrim's Bounty foods, I can help. If you're not already a cook, all you have to do is train and you'll be cooking in no time. So you can see already, folks, this is all about cooking and it's great. Again, a great way of leveling up our cooking skills. 
So of course, now that we've handed in, what we need to do is pick up all of the quests so we can actually start our Pilgrim's Bounty pilgrimage, if you like. And again, we'll be able to raise our cooking nice and high. But of course, the other thing that's against us in this case is time. Can you believe it? We've already run out of time for this episode, so what we'll do is we'll split it over two. And uh, of course, we're going to have a lot of content to cover off for this Pilgrim's Bounty event. So it'll probably take us the entire next episode just to go through all of these quests here and figure it out and work out what we need to do. And by the way, just warning you now, there's a lot of traveling involved in the Pilgrim's Bounty. And that means if you can't fly or you don't know how to get around the place, it's going to be a bit painful. But we'll cover off all of that as well. Uh, we can get to most places readily. And of course, by most places, I mean that we're going to be sent to a lot of the other capital cities. So it's going to be great. We're going to have an episode filled with different sights and sounds that you guys are used to. Uh, of course, all we've done as a Worgen Mage is basically be over in the Barrens and in Teldrassil. And in Kalimdor, all of the Night Elf content, you guys haven't really seen any of the human content or the Draenei or the Dwarven content. So hopefully, with a bit of luck, we'll be able to actually scoot to all of those places thanks to these quests and daily quests here. Now, of course, because I'm picking this up so late in the piece for this particular character here, I'm not going to be able to do everything uh, that we'd like to be able to do. Ideally, you'd start these at the beginning of the Pilgrim's Bounty, so you can actually work your way through these daily quests and do them every single day. We're right at the tail end of this. Uh, it just happened to be that way because of time and of course unfortunately by the time you view this video uh, this event will have been long gone but that's okay it's still fun to explore this content and of course get yourself set up for next year because it comes around so fast folks seriously you'd have no idea anyway that's it from us we must away we're way over our time limit please join me in the next episode as we again pick up all of these and start making our way through all of this content in this great event to celebrate Thanksgiving in the US. So in the meantime, on behalf of myself, Sambo, Seraphis, our level 39 Worgen Mage, so I'm saying take care. Certainly hope you're having a great day wherever in the world you are. We'll look forward to seeing you next time. We'll see you then and bye-bye. The site is our salvation.